Hello dear friends, this is Imetjan. I hope that you and your family are well. Now, in the lecture 7, we consider the second type of improper integrals. We can call also this type of integral this continuous integral okay we call as this continuous integrand right now let integral from a to b f of x dx let this integral be given and then the function f as you know that the function f is called integrand function f as you know that is defined this interval from a to b to r okay this is our interval a to b okay now the this kind of improper integral uh, we call actually type two or second type of improper integral uh, this function f which is we call it integrand may be undefined or discontinuous at the point A or discontinuous or undefined at the point B or now take a point C between the point A and B then the third case our function undefined the point C or our function is discontinuous at the point C. Uh, so uh, we have three possibilities about the second type of improper improper integrals. First one is let's write first one. Limit say x tends to be from right hand side absolute value of f of x dx infinity then integral a to b f of x dx is limit t up as t approach to b from left hand side integral from a to t f of x dx okay now take here the variable t as you can see that our function f is not defined at the point b and so t can be approached 
to the point B from left hand side. That's why our t, our variable t, tends to be from left hand side. Okay. Now we have two case for this limit. Maybe this limit is exist. Exist means that we have a real number for the limit. At this time, we say that the given integral is conversion. Okay. The second case is if this limit doesn't exist, non exist, means then this limit is infinity at that time. This given integral is called diversion. Now, the second case is the limit as x tends to a from right hand side, then absolute value of f of x is infinity. In this case, we write that integral from a to b f of x dx right is equal to limit s tends to S tends to A from right hand side integral from S to B f of x dx. We can write this integral. Now let's look at here. Our function is undefined at the point A. Take S here at the time s has to uh, has to be has to has to uh, has to goes goes to uh, a from right hand side that's why i am writing here as s tends to a from right hand side okay now we have again uh, about this limit two possibilities maybe this limit exists at that time we call that this integral is conversion otherwise which is if this limit doesn't exist then we call that this integral is diversion okay now Case three. <coughs> now our interval is a from a to b. Take a point C. Limit x as x tends to C absolute value of f of x is infinity that in this case our given integral from a to b can be written as integral 
one a to c plus c to b okay let's call this given integral i first part is i one second part is say that i two okay now this point is our discontinuous point of our given function that's uh, that's why i am taking our uh, interval uh, i am putting this interval from i am cutting this interval from this point the, uh, and so we have two part uh, now if both these uh, integral are convergent then we call that given integral is convergent otherwise one of them these two part are divergent then we at that time we say that this given integral is divergent okay right now let's begin to give some example which explain our theoretical uh, case example one example say the first example is integral from zero to four one over square root of x dx now let's look at this example this is our function or this is our integrand as you can see that if we put this zero inside of square root at that time one over zero is undefined k case which means that this function is discontinuous at the point zero and so we can write that this is our uh, two two i case unit s s tends to zero from right hand side integral from s to four one over square root of x dx is i think we can write this part x to two minus one over two okay now this is equal to limit s tends to zero from right hand side if we calculate this integral then as you can see that this is polynomial please add one and divide obtain it number x to do half over half s from s to 4 now this we can write 1 over 2 s to limit s s approach to 0 from right hand side please put here 4 4 means 2 square 1 over 2 minus 
S, to do 1 over 2. Let's look at what happened. As you can see that if we use red color, S, S tends to 0 from right hand side. This goes to 0. And so here, please delete this 2 by this 2. And so we have here just 2. 2 times 2 is 4. And we can say that our given integral is, it is, we can write, it is convergent. Okay. This given integral is convergent. Why? The result is a real number 4. Okay. Now, let's take Second example, I am writing here two. Example two. Okay. What is example two? Integral from one to five. One over x minus two. To do one over dx. Okay, now let's look at what happened. This is our interval. Our function is defined in this interval from one to five. As you can see, that this part is undefined if we take x is 2, 2 is between 1 to 1 and 5, and so our function is undefined at the point 2, or our function is discontinuous at 5, 2, and so we need to write that our integral from 1 to 2 plus 2 to 5, okay? 1 from 1 to 2 plus 2 to do 5. Let's call first part I1. Let's call the second part, second part i2. Okay, let's write i1 is integral from 1 to 2. As you can see that this is undefined point and we have to approach this point 2 from left hand side. I think, let's write firstly, dx, in it as t tends to 2 from left hand side, integral 1 to t, x minus 2 1 over 3 dx all right now limit uh, t s t tends to to do 2 from left hand side if we calculate this Integral one over two to do two over three over two over three one from one to t. Okay, let's look at what happened. 
we can take 2 over 3 of side of the limit as 3 over 3, 3 over 2 limit as t tends to 2 from left hand side. Let's put upper limit uh, in this bracket t minus 2 to the 2 over 3 minus 1 minus 2 1 minus 1 minus 2 to the 2 over 3 okay let's look at what happened this is minus 1 2 times 1 over 3 as you can see that this is minus 1 right minus 1 we have another minus 1 if we put 2 this goes to 0 and so this is equal to minus 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 we have this is 1 I am saying again that we have 1 all of them is 1 and so we have just minus minus times 3 over 2 is minus 3 over 2 which means that our integral i1 is convergent okay now let's take the second part i2 what is i2 i2 is from 2 to the 5 1 over x minus 2 1 over 3 dx let's write again limit as s tends to the 2 from right hand side because take here s s s tends to from right hand side okay to the 2 right okay let's look at what happened from s to 5 1 over x minus 2 x x minus 2 to the 1 over 3 dx we can calculate by using similar way to the to the the, the to the case a1 and I think we can write 3 over 2 limit as s approach to the 2 from right hand side this side right hand side x minus 2 from s to 5 okay now if we put upper limit here and then uh, minus secondly if we put lower limit instead of x then we have that to do 5 over 3 over 2 as you can see that this limit is axis and so this limit is a real number which means that the second part of our given main integral is 
Who, which, this, rouge. If we summarize what we have done here and house of this of given integral is say i i1 plus i2 and so this is minus 3 over 2 plus the second part is to the 5 over 3 over 2 as you can see that this is again real number and we can say that our given integral i is convergent okay our given integral is now, as you can see that, uh, our friend, we have no time to explain everything and uh, I am giving the example 3 without reading anything. Let's look at the example 3. Example 3 is our integral from minus 2 to the 1, 1 over x square dx. As you can see that uh, denominator is undefined at the point 0, here of 0, and 0 is ap 0 appears between the point minus 2 and 1. And so our function is undefined at the point zero. That is our function, our integral is discontinuous at the point zero. And so we can divide the given integral as two parts like this, i1 plus i2, okay? As you can see that this is very easy uh, to cal calculate and then if you calculate, uh, if we follow this all step, we have here 1 over t, 1 over t, the, fu the function 1 over t has a graph like this and so t tends to 0 right here tends to 0 our function goes to minus infinity we have another minus and so the limit of this uh, bracket is infinity which means that first part is this i1 is divergent Okay, first part is divergent. We can do same things at part two. And let's look at here. Please follow every step carefully at that time. One over S has a graph like this. S tends to zero from right hand side and then our function goes to infinity and so we have minus and minus infinity minus time minus is plus and our result is infinity which means that the part two is again divergent okay and so we can write result our result is the given integral has two part i1 plus i2 uh, i1 is infinity i2 also is infinity infinity plus infinity is infinity and so the given integral i our main integral is the 
well. Okay. Now, I think that's all. Şimdi arkadaşlar Türkçe bir şey söylemek istiyorum. Bu yüklenen videolardan kısa sürede bildirim almak için kanala abone olun ve bizi de motive etmek için beğen tuşuna basarsanız biz motive oluruz. Teşekkür ederiz arkadaşlar.